Hello, this is John from McLeod Technology and the topic for today is about uh, comparing, comparing printers, the speed of printers and what contributes to it for the speed of printing in DTF, in DTF okay? So there are four categories that contribute to the speed of the printing. Number one, when the printer prints is resolution. Number two is uh, the number of nozzle of the printhead. Okay. Number three is the width of the printer, and number four is the loading paper loading, the way the paper is loaded or the way the film is loaded. So let's discuss first the loading of paper. Of course, if we are comparing between a roll and a sheets. Of course, the roll prints faster because you just keep printing. You don't loading and loading and loading. Because if you are doing sheets, every sheets the printer needs to determine what kind of film or paper it is. So it takes time to process. Uh, it's like babysitting. So of course, you have to look for a roll, a printer that using roll to print. Number two is the the weight. Okay. So if you have a small printer, of course you can load only with 12 inch. So you know it takes time for the printer to go back and print and go back and print. So if you have a 12, yeah, you can only do this once. But if you have a 24 inch, so in one stroke, it prints like maybe two transfer against against one transfer per 12 on the 12 inch on the 13 inch against a 24 inch that you can print two at the same time. So the speed is more faster, a little bit faster compared to 12 and against 24. So that's the, this, the, the dimension. That's number three. And number two is the nozzle. So uh, based on my experience, I can find that uh, there are Epson nozzle that is 400 nozzle per, per channel. Per channel it means per color, 400 nozzle. That's the highest I see, and there are 360, there are 180 and 90 nozzle. So where is this nozzle or present what kind of printer? So the 400 nozzle usually uses by the Chinese printer. These Chinese design printers, they are using 400 nozzle per channel. But there's only four channel per head, that's why they need two heads to create an eight channel, CMYK and white. But they have 400 nozzle for every channel, okay? 400 nozzle. That's why they are faster because their, their head are bigger. 400 nozzle, 400 nozzle that sprays in one pass, okay? And the next to that is the Epson 7890. That is 360 nozzle, but in one head, that's only eight channel right away so he did he doesn't need two heads he only needs one head because that head is already eight channel with 360 nozzle so if you compare the chinese with epson 7890 which is uh sometimes we rename it uh, narahoshi 2405 which is a uh, repurposed by narahoshi okay they are 10 percent slower compared to chinese because 360 against 400 and the next is 7880. So 7880 is 180 nozzle per channel. So eight channel to eight channel head with 180 nozzle. So what are the printers that uses this 180 nozzle? So the printers are Epson 7880, Epson 7800, Epson 4880, and the Moto 628. So these are present on this printer. So if you compare a 7890 against a Moto, yeah, it, this is twice the speed because 180 against 360. So the Moto is equivalent to 7800, 7880, 4880, 4800, and the Moto. They are, they are, these are these uses the same kind of head. The Moto is using DX7, 180 nozzle. 
and the Epson is using the X5. Okay? Then there are also P800 and P600 that uses also the 180 nozzle. And P400, I think P400 is using also 180 nozzle. So the L1800, which is the famous DTM printer, is only 90 nozzle per channel. But there are only six channels. So if you compare the L1800 against the, the Moto or against the 7880, maybe by, by, by the nozzle, okay? This 7880 is twice the speed of 7890, maybe a little bit more because the, the wind are another consideration, okay? And everything, at, let's say, at printing at 1440 by 1440. That's the last topic that we'd like to discuss. So, by the nozzle, 90, 180, 360, 400. So, that's how you determine the speed. That's how you contribute to the speed of the printing due to the printhead. But everything use an Epson printhead. Then lastly is the uh, resolution. So, Epson usually using AcroRip uh, Acrorip uh, software, we highly recommend to use to print at 1440 by 1440. 1440 by 1440 is a photo quality print. So that's why you have a quality DTF because you're using a photo quality print. Uh, if you're just using a regular printing, you can use 720 by 1440, 720 by 1800, or 720 by 2100. But it's 720, okay? So, if you are printing like in a paper, normally it's 720 dpi or lower. So, that's why it's faster. That's why if you compare the Chinese against uh, the Epson printer, of course, this is faster because they are printing at 720 while the Epson are printing at 1440. So, they are almost twice the speed plus the number of nozzle, 400 nozzle against 360 or 180 or 90 nozzle. So if you add all these things, resolution, number of nozzle, and the dimension, the, 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 the wide, how wide the printer is, and the paper loading, all these things contribute into the speed of the printing. Because you know our bottleneck on DTA printing is the speed. Because we are printing two images, the colored images and the white images. So that's why it's low because we print two images at the same time. So this is the things that I can share with you. And of course, you need to be careful with the ink also because uh, others, they lock you with the ink. So like Moto, they are, the ink is locked to STS ink, which is $127 per liter. Whereas the Epson converted printers and Chinese printers, you can use any kind of ink any brand uh, there will be as low as $38 per liter against $127 so that's a lot that's a lot of savings that you can do and those are the things that I can contribute for Good now things. and uh, maybe in the next topic I can discuss more uh, we will be trying to create a DTF masterclass uh, we will try to support you with the uh, maintenance how to maintain your printer how to repair your printer uh, we will discuss that the next time and yeah so the topic is about what contributes for the dta printer to print faster so again resolution number of nozzle per channel or per per color the width of the printer and the paper loading a roll or sheets so all these things contribute to make the printer more faster so that you can have a better choice of what to choose on using a DTF printer and of course the last one is the maintenance what can you do if you keep repairing the printer keep aligning the printer whereas uh, this one is running this one is you know it's a, another thing about maintenance of the way the printer operates so consider all those things uh, if you are a technical person you know how to 
repair a printer or you know how to maintain a printer then you can consider other brand but if you don't know that much you stay at Epson Epson is just you just print and a little bit of maintenance and if you have a problem you can call Epson uh, service center Epson certified technician to repair your printer but if you other brand you always depend them to where you buy the printer and uh, what if they are far from you so yeah it's a lot of problems so guys that's all i can share for you today thank you so much have a nice day